Good day everyone, um, you're welcome to today's class. Today we want to look at division of salt. Now, um, what differentiates um, how we divide salt from every other division is just a very simple thing. They use the same rule, but what differentiates them is the fact that in salt, what we do is to rationalize the denominator. That's what we do. We rationalize the denominator. Now, what does that mean? It simply means to multiply the numerator and denominator by the root of our denominator. So, for example, you have a question like this. You have root 50 over root 5. You could have a question this way. And also, this means that you have root 50 over root 5. The question can also come this way. So these and these are the same. Now, how can we solve this? We can either simplify with 50 or we rationalize the denominator. So let's hold on. Let's simplify with 50. Now we have root 50. We give us root 50 will give us 25 times 2. Remember, we need a perfect square and one imperfect square. And from here, we have root 25 times root 2. Now, the root of 25 will give us 5 times root 2 will give us 5 root 2. Now, we can bring down our denominator. Now, we want to apply this now. Now, what that means is we are multiplying the numerator by root 5 and also denominator by root 5. Now, if here was root 3, this would be root 3 and root 3. If here was root 7, this would be what? Root 7 and root 7. And because we have here is root 5, we have to stay put. Now, let's continue. We have an invisible one here. So that means we have 5 times 1 is 5. Root, root 2 times root 5 will give us root 10. Over root 5 times root 5 will give us root 25. Then we now have 5 root 10 over the root of 25 is 5. So 5 cancel 5, then we have root 10 as our answer. Now sometimes we don't need this step. When you have two equal roots multiplying each other, like you have root 2 times root 2, you should know that your answer is 2. If you have root 7 times root 7, the answer is 7. So we can always skip 